who was ruling on David's throne when Jesus was born? Pontius Pilate, a pagan, a Greek pagan, he was interrogating Jesus instead of Jesus would interrogate him according to your scriptures. And he asked the question, there is a trial going on, midnight trial, Pontius Pilate. Then he roared and back to Pontius Pilate. And what was all going on? When Jews brought him towards his, their own Sanhedrin, they said he is claiming to be the son of God. But when they brought to Pilate, and you know Pilate's wife saw a dream that no harm should come to this just man. I am asking Christians, who showed him the dream? Who showed her the dream? The wife of Pontius Pilate, Satan or God, that no harm should come to this just man. This is very clear that he was the mightiest messenger of God. And his wife, Pontius Pilate saw the right dream. But anyways, Christians, you know, when you don't want, when you want to ignore something, you don't want to talk about that. Anyways, Pontius Pilate was also reluctant to punish him. He said that you are putting new blood on an innocent man on my hands and you release Barabbas. And then they put this guy, uh, Jesus Christ, into this picture, which I'm not going into that. But when the question, interrogation was done by Pilate, he said that you claim that you are the king of the Jews. King of the Jews. This is a charge now. Not son of God. Because God, son of God is a normal thing amongst the Greeks and the Grecian. Tars, this uh, Hercules, Apollo, this Polo, and this, uh, what you call, Atos of Phrygia, Dionysus of Greece. There are many gods used. They don't care about that. So, you see, Jesus said, he said I, I, did I say this? These are the people who said that. He said, my kingdom is not of this world. What angel said to Mary that he will take his father's throne, David's throne, and the David throne was on this earth. It was not in the heavens. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, Bani Israel, children of Israel, the children of Ishaq, the children of Yaqub, Jacob. He will rule over the children of Jacob forever. You know, those children of Jacob, the family of Judah, Judah, they killed him on the cross. It is all damn squib. I want you to justify this prophecy. You attack on Quran, I said, which prophecy fulfilled? Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world. And the prophecy was given. He will take his father's throne, David's throne, which was on the earth. Instead of David, the David's throne, Pontius Pilate was sitting. And he never got this throne yet. Those enemy of Jews, sorry, those enemy of Jesus Christ, according to you who put them on, him on the cross, who put him on the cross, they are still ruling in Israel and enjoying and calling Jesus bastard. Astaghfirullah on their television programs. They are enjoying in Israel, in Tel Aviv, and you people still waiting for Jesus Christ. And according to them, they got rid of him, and you took good redemption, redemption out of it. How come? Explain this prophecy. Instead of preaching in the church and getting donations and, and all this money and filling up your bank accounts, just tell them why this prophecy didn't fulfill. And this is only one. This is only one. I can quote you many prophecies <clears throat> from the Bible related to Jesus Christ, which is all to be uh, all found to be a lie. So, which throne of David was given to Jesus Christ, and which house of Jacob he ruled forever? Do you know what's the meaning of forever in English? Forever means the day the thing happened till Yom Al Qiyamah. Who is ruling right now in Israel? Who? The one who do say that we got rid of that man, that man of Nazareth. And they call him Bin Pandera. They call him that the Pandera Roman soldier. He married, uh, sorry, he raped Maryam alayhi salam, astaghfirullah, Mary. He raped Mary and produced the bastard children, inverted commas. This is what you have your exhibits and documents. And you attack on us, you call us Antichrist. We Muslims, you can never repay us what we did to you. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu forced us, Quran forced us to believe that Mary, the opposition of Arabs, Jewess, brought a child without any male intervention. You can never repay us. Otherwise, we could have ridiculed so easily. And you laugh on us, Muslims, 
love is on you. Judge it not that you not be judged under what judgment? You're judging others, you hypocrites. Why you see the sliver in your brother's eye? First remove the beam from your own eye, then see the sliver in your brother's eye. Hebrews chapter 7 verse, num, verse number 1, Jesus Christ quotation. You hypocrites, <coughs> you need to worry about your own scriptures, then you talk about Islam. <laughs>